Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. When we last left off, we got through the ruins of Delok, or the Temple of Delok, I guess I should say, and we um, basically learned that we are different from everyone else in the fact that we are not tied by any sort of destiny. We can just choose our own, which gives us free will, which also gives us the ability to basically change the world in ways that maybe aren't supposed to be changed. Um, but yeah, right now actually we're in the star camp because uh, at the end of the video I sold off some of my stuff to open up some inventory space. So now let's pick a quest, and I think I'm going to do this one. Kill the Etten shamans, or shamans, or shamans, or <sighs> however you say that crazy, crazy name. And they are all right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here in the Ballads Oratory. Start with that one and kind of work my way around. And take them all out. So that's one right there. Hopefully these won't be too difficult to take down. There's and see, oh, I resisted it. That's not good. Ooh. Yeah, this could be trouble. Oh, oh, that could be big trouble. That's big trouble. Gotta move away. Alright, come on. Oh, okay, we got him now. We got him now. Once they get into that... That, uh... Cycle of falling over... The enemies aren't really that... Tough. Oh, come on. You really gotta do much better than that if you want to survive. And we can actually take stuff. I'm tempted to almost go back in and grab all that stuff that I missed. If it's still there. I don't even know if it's still there. It might not be once I um, shut down the game. So I think it's just a, a, a loss. Which I'm a little bit disappointed in. But it's okay. It's just stuff. There's plenty of stuff to be had. I'm sure, and apparently that's a glitched out loot bag. I think I actually passed that one up earlier. But here, let's give ourselves a heal, get ourselves to max health again. And where is the other one? Alright, let's go to this one. So, yeah, we'll see how much we can get done here. I don't know if... The side quests will take you into the next zones in addition to the um, storyline quests, or if it's going to be basically if I want to progress to other zones, I'm going to have to do just the story quests. But like I said at the beginning of the Let's Play, I'm trying to do basically as much as I possibly can. Um, and whether that means that it's just going to be basically <laughs> making these videos for the next long time. Then so be it, I guess. I mean, here, let's get our little fair go Gorta minion out. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I am enjoying the game so far, so I don't see any reason to stop playing it. So, I know I'm only 20 something videos into it, but still. If it gets to be like 600 videos long, then that might be a little long. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get to that point. But anyway, let's see. Where's the next one? Let's see. Back here. So I guess I should go back this way and cross the bridge. And I know that most of these quests are find, find this or kill that, but they're still pretty fun, actually, because they introduce you to new enemies or new areas of the particular zone you're in. So you kind of cover a lot of ground. Oh, and there's a uh, lore stone. Perfect. Let's take a listen. Such antipathy between them, Farara and Faymor. Farara filled with life in bloom and the bloody bones with rot and scar. How terrible is their grapple when they both meet their ends. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting little story that I've 
don't really can't explain, but I apologize for not being good at interpreting those floor stones. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't know why I find them hard to follow what they're trying to say, but. But such as it is, they're still fun to listen to and gives you a little bit of history of the land. Oh god, it just does you is. <laughs> Ooh, shoes of breadth. Not quite as good. Oh, uh, what's that noise? Was that him just dying? Hmm, who knows. Alright, easy to spell. Got it. Dispelled. Alright, where is the last one? This was actually a pretty quick quest, which is always nice. Not always nice, but... After a long dungeon like Delac, it's nice to get some of these quicker ones. Makes them a little makes you feel like you're getting some progress done. And the lock pick. Come on. Nope, nope. Almost. Nope. Oh, that was worse. Nope. There we go, that's it. I could tell. I could feel it. Okay. Uh, there's a hidden something or another here, like a log or a pile of stones. I'm guessing it's a log based on the. Oh no, it is a pile of rocks. Eel pedal and I couldn't remember the other one. Ooh, let's get that black cohosh if we can. Got it. And what's in here? Damage deflection and a cloudy magic shard. And there's still definitely plenty to do other than the quests. I can start crafting some and making potions and things like that. Uh, I don't know how much I'll do of that though. Until I'm actually higher level in it. I don't know. Dodge it. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Last troll. These guys actually weren't as bad as I thought they'd be. Except for that first one. That was kind of a, a fluke. Alright, that takes care of the uh, shamans. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was actually really close. Oh, bugger. Heal up. At least you still can get the stuff inside it if you fail the to open the ch um to dispel the the wards. They don't just destroy the the chest on you or anything like that. Okay, before I turn this one in, okay, so there's two basically that I'm done. Three actually. Where's this plague shield? Is that not even in this? Oh, that's way up there. Okay. Um, trying to get like a bunch of quests done and then. And then turn them in all at once. But it looks like that's pretty much all I can do here. So let's see. Uh, shield ring to keep. Can't remember where this person is. Oh, they're just right there. Okay. Let's just fast travel. Save some time. And as always, destroy the crates because one gold might be sitting in them. All right, let's see what this guy has to say. You found it after all. 800 gold, you nice. For sake, I'm glad you didn't leave it with that monster. But I have a few coins left to my name, and you can take them. 
and the bed's free for your use whenever you care for it. Thank you. That's really helpful, actually. Though I don't really need the bed right now, because I'm all full health and all that. I wonder if, unless the bed will take away my curse... curses. It doesn't. Alright. These two are both in the children keep, so let's head to there. I'll get that secret or the chest in a little bit on the mini map. I saw something. Do, do, do the shield ring keep. That cuckoo, cuckoo keep. Hmm, this is taking a while. Longer than normal. There we go. Welcome. You're welcome okay. in the keep, as long as your honor is intact. Well, that's questionable. The Ettenmere contract is done. Each and every one? Well, yes. You certainly rose above the call of service. You've earned your pay. Then some. 344 oh, gold for killing all of those shamans, I think. <sighs> oh, you know what? Declan isn't in the keep. Oh, man. He's like further away than that. Bummer. All right, before we go to Declan, I'm going to go get this this chest or hidden cache. Okay. Oops, wrong button. There's Declan right there. Perform well in combat, mixing up your abilities and special attacks, and you get more stuff. Actually, it just increases how much reckoning you get. Oh. So these enemies are gray, which means, like, well, if I can't dodge them, they're a problem. But basically, my level is much higher than they are now. So these guys... Oh, really? Come on, man. These guys aren't going to give me any experience points. But, I mean, look at that. They almost killed me. Oh, well, they did give me a little experience, but much less, I think, than what I normally would have gotten. <sighs> well, that was embarrassing. There you All go. right, Declan, I did your job for you. Well done, friend. Well done, Ooh, flamed hilt. I know in time the trolls will return, but at least now I can make it back to Shieldring Keep with my head held high. Here, take this. It was Jewelry's sword. Broken now, but she might be mighty again if a skilled smith wants to make her so. It's what Jewelry would have wanted. I was unable to complete the contract, but since you <coughs> have, you best get your own eye back to Shieldring Keep and turn it in. Off with you then. Farewell. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it back to Shieldring Keep with that kind of condition. All right, so I think, yep, bring it back to Shieldring, because I have to go back to where I was anyway. If I can get there, there we go. What's this? Another hireling. Okay, that was much faster that time. Good. All right, let's see yes, what I get really. for this one. There's no need to stand around and gape. But your mutton chops, they're so amazing. I completed the hack sequence the last contract. Souls who tried it came to no good, did they? A shame. But profitable for you. Here's the pay. On with you. I have 116 gold. Okay. 
So now we really are getting down there with the quests. Let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll do this Plague Shield one only because that's the last one to do. But I think before that I'm going to um, let's see. Oh, that's not bad for that, even though I can't use it. But I'm going to uh, Sorry, I get distracted. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I'm going to sell some stuff to open up, keep my inventory in check. And I think it's... Nope, oh, it's this way. Okay. No quest there anymore. War sworn proud, and let the rest rot. Okay. Hmm? Need gauntlets or a fine sword? Ah, uh, well, I need to sell some stuff actually. For another 4,000 gold. Maybe this person has some inventory help. Nope, lots of crafting stuff. I suppose what I could do is actually do some crafting. And that would free up, especially blacksmith stuff, that might actually help clear up some inventory space because then I would sell the stuff right away. We can make a staff, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's not too bad. 39 damage, 24 lightning damage. Critical hit damage and health. We'll just leave it at that because I'm terrible at naming stuff. So let's see, if we can make another one. That's actually a blue level. Not bad. I don't know if you actually get um, experience for crafting or not, but. See anything else? I guess we'll find out when I'm done here. Can't make any armor. Can make some. Oh, we can make some shoes. Can make quite a bit of stuff here. Okay. Lightning damage. Ooh, that'd be helpful. A lot more mana. Let's do this one. Sorry, I'm not really saying anything here. I'm actually... Let's do some more help. I didn't realize I had this many components. That's pretty cool. Whoa, 30% mana regen per second. That's not bad at all. Okay, I think that's all I can do there. Can I do any warrior? And we can do some rogue leggings here. Can I do one more? Nope, that's it. Okay, so that gives us more stuff to sell um, potentially. I know I can salvage stuff, but I think at this point I'd rather sell it. Oh yeah, no, that's not as good. Well, yeah, no, not quite as good. And for how decent that actually was, not good enough. All right, that just gives us a little bit more to sell. Got shields here. Elms for another three thousand gold, we're up to eighty-five thousand gold. Let's see if there's something that we can buy here that might be helpful. I kind of doubt it, but. <clears throat> 
Uh, yeah, not really seeing anything that would be helpful. So we'll just keep uh, stockpiling that money and until we find something that we can really use. Piling. All right, so now we will do the the plague shield one. Yep, that's right. Whoops, wrong button again. And those two are just right here, so that'll be quick. And then I think we'll be done with all the side quests that we saw, found so far, which is really nice. Didn't think it would, would go that... Oh, that kind of startled me. <laughs> and that's what you get for startling me. Oop. Someone's carrying it. This guy right here. Okay. Oh, two bears? This is not good. Move! Oh. <laughs> oh, why would you move? Yeah, these guys are just no problem. But they are gray, so... That would make sense. Still got a fair amount of experience, though. Yep, come on. Come to your doom. A little more gold from those guys. Not bad. Pick up another black cohosh. And another one. Alright, where is this guy leading me? I don't necessarily want to uh, attack him because I don't know if he's a good or a bad guy, so. Oh, I didn't realize this guy was going to run so far away. So I'm going to go all the way back. Ooh, but there's another lore stone. Alright, keep that in mind. He was a bad guy. He led me right into this trap. Not that it's any problem for me, but. It could have saved me a lot of trouble by just giving it to me. Take that. There it is. There's the plague shield. And we'll go back and get that lore stone. It was right over there. It is. Right there. Right in the middle. Easy to find. The water shaped with ease. The sand bent just as well. The plants gave way. The beasts have fled. Even stone must give way to my love. For Dara is grander than this lake I craft. This lock beside this hill. For her, a century's task seems effortless. Okay. So that guy is just proclaiming his unerring love for... Dara, or Dara, I can't remember how he pronounced it, but. Let's see, I get distracted by these hidden. These hidden uh, secrets here. I guess hidden secret is a, <laughs> a redundant term, but. Four lockpicks, nice. Alright, so how far away are we from now? This thing. Kind of a ways back, but we'll get there. Ooh, and I've discovered a new location, so that's always helpful. I don't know if some of these have quests inside of them, some of these caves, or if they're part of quests that I haven't picked up yet, or if they're just meant for general exploration, just to make it a little more fun to explore. But as it is, I'm just going to, at the moment, just follow the quests that I have and let those kind of determine, kind of determine where I go a little bit, but not completely. Especially once I uh, get the ability to uh, see lore stones on the mini-map. See, can I just sneak around here? Jump. Oh, yeah, I can. Excellent. 
All right, that takes care of the plague shield. Ooh, and there's a dispel here. Hmm, could have sworn I had that one, but obviously not. Oh. <sighs> Someday I'll get those. I'm really not good at that stuff, but my timing is way off. It's trickier than it looks. But while we're there, we might as well get a... Blessing. Uh, did I just discover this location yet? I did not. St. Hadwood's Mission. That sounds really familiar. Hmm. Well, since we finished the Plague Shield, let's see where that's actually located. And let's see where uh, these things are located in relation. So, okay. So what I'll do is I'll do this. Go here first. I haven't reached that area yet. Hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll turn in the Plague Shield one then. shield. It will last for a while yet at any rate. Thank you. Thank you and bless you so very, very much. If you have a need for healing, do come back. I will. Actually, I really could use some healing. Diseases and curses. On with you. Get there. Now I'm back to full strength. Okay, let's see. No more side quests. Let's do the... Let's check this one out, actually. Ooh, that's going to be in a new... Kind of a new little area here. Lorca Rain. Good. I wish Murdoch Hane had a few more fire <clears throat> for the vault. Excuse me. So... Let's head up there. I think we are getting really close to leveling again, if I remember correctly. No problem. Yep, we are almost to level 13. Why can't I... Oh. I should be still be able to loot them regardless of them in combat or not. Maybe not. I guess not. Okay. All right, so on to Lorca Rain. Ah, I remember that guy. He's the one that clued me into uh, the Star Camp. Because if I take that, that's where this will lead is into the Star Camp right there. So we have been in this area before, this little road. And we'll take that blessing. I already opened that chest. <laughs> it looked like I didn't think I opened it. All right. Wow, look at all these ruins. Huh. Cool. Ooh, and another quest to pick up. Up on... above us, I guess. How do I get up there, I wonder? 
but it's not too mysterious. Okay, let's, uh, I want to get that quest, though, because I don't want to lose it. Not lose it, but I don't want to forget about it. So let's grab this quest. Frostbite, what is that? Huh. I think it's a sword. Oh, it's a great sword. Whoa, look at that thing. <laughs> That's huge. That's sweet looking. But alas, I can't, don't want to use it. Actually, I don't think I physically could use it, even if I wanted to. Well, they gave me some more XP, and that put me almost into the last little bar of... closer to 13. Kind of getting the idea that I'll probably be, unless the levels come really, really slowly, I'll probably be um, max level way before the end of the storyline, unless I really focus on the storyline. So I think I saw a quest up here. Yeah, there's two quests actually in the vicinity. There's one. What is that? Oh, it's a Jotun. Not even Jotuns are. Oop. No problem. This is like Jotun City right here. What, really? There you go. No problem. Whoa, look at that. That was pretty cool. Healing potion. Those are always welcome. Hmm. Ah. Like Prisoner. Please. You have to open the cage. The Jotun filled up on that antelope. But I don't like the way the big one was looking at me. That's a really unfortunate <clears throat> camera angle. You can't see anything. What happened? I was trying to find my way out of this forest when I stumbled into these Jotun. They grabbed me and knocked me up. Out of one cage and into another. You know what I mean? Please, let me out of here. Okay, I'll let you out. It's Who is Margo? Girl, but wants a little more dedication <clears throat> than I'm ready for. I needed to get away. She'd go on about these stories her grandmother used to tell her, about creatures turning people into animals. She believed them, so there was my way out. I didn't reckon on getting captured by Jotun, though. All right, I'll let you out. I owe you one. If you see a girl named Marga Samick, do not tell her you saw me. Or just tell her I was an antelope. Huh? She'll understand. Thanks we'll see. again. We will see. Let's talk to her about Marga. And great fun to be around. At first. Then she starts talking marriage and children. I'm not ready for that. Well, not with that attitude you won't be. But if we do see Marga, more than likely I'll tell her about you. Because that's just the kind of person I am. That was not even... I wasn't even trying that time. There we go. More stuff to sell. Okay, now I'm going to head towards that other... Well... Let's take care of the rest of these Jotun here. Since they're not too much of a trouble. And there's a lore stone again. Three lore stones in one video. Nice. Uh, 
And those guys are done with. Let's take a listen to this lore stone, the Song of S Stone of Spring. On the third year of passage, Tyrion entered Dalantar. In dark wood and fainy field she strode, until from wandering she was taken to the roots of mighty Velagru's child. So laden with Lyria's song, a greater magic known to none, she communed with nature's spirit, but the lyric she sought was not found. So to the plains of Erethel hmm. traveled the Lyria-guided Tyrion. Wind chased her swarthy cloak and tresses, masked her against the moonlit plains. That ebon evening tide, that colored shade that so long ago marked us, Tyrion marched against the celestial expanse. Beneath the diamonded sky, she found her rest. Okay, <laughs> I was just making sure that that was it. Alright. Trying to get to that other quest marker. I can't believe Is that Marga? That is Marga, happened, good. We'll it? finish this one up. I can tell from your face. Did you find Orain? I did. Orain wasn't an antelope. Made the whole thing up? I can't believe he'd do that. He'll wish the Jotun had eaten him when I get my hands on him. Please, take this. <laughs> it was a gift from Orain. I won't need it anymore. Okay. All right, so that one is done. Whoa. Where did that come from? Oh, this guy right there. Okay. Oh, take all of that. Oh, that's nothing. Sorry if I'm, uh, because I skipped over some of the potential conversation, but... If it doesn't look like it pertains as much to the quest, I don't know. I may not do as much of the talking pieces. We'll see, though. Tell me, stranger, have you seen a young man lost in these ruins? Maybe with two lovebirds who can't take their eyes off each other. Um. Yes. A young man. Turin, we were separated while exploring the ruins. I need to find him. <laughs> Why would I say that? Who are these people? Friends? We came into these ruins together, but I wonder if any of us will get out again. Orin and Margar are safe. They're safe, then. So Turin is the only one unaccounted for. If you meet him, please send him this way. I need that damned scroll of his. Okay, so you don't really care about him as much, more about the scroll. You want me to look for him? But if you do find Turin, please send him this way. I need that damned scroll of his. Okay. <laughs> I love that she says it twice. What was it we needed? Uh, let's talk about the scroll. A contract of sorts. This venture was supposed to fill our pockets with coin. Now I'd count us wealthy if we all make it out alive. My friends okay. and I were separated while exploring the ruins. I especially need to find a young Almain named Turin. He has a scroll that I need. And if you do find Fair him, enough. Wow. <laughs> and if you do find him, and then she just starts attacking up. Kobold. She's not very strong, though. Oh, right off the cliff. To his doom. Okay, I'm going to call it a video here. This has been going on for plenty long enough. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And the next one, we'll take care of these... Jotun right ahead of us, and we'll continue doing some quests. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
until next time on Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Until then. Okay, now until then.